to Pink Whisper. Today I'll be teaching you how to make dragon scales. I know it might be, it might seem pretty cool, but it's pretty cool. It might not seem, it might seem boring, like something I've made before. But let me just find the, the example. So this is what it looks like. It may not look as much because the camera isn't perfect, but this is what they look like. I designed them myself, and I think you're gonna enjoy this tutorial. For this tutorial, I will be using a 40 by 40 centimeter sheet of biotope. You can order that in origami shop. I'm gonna be using a sheet I have my I ordered that came actually today. So biotope is a special paper. It's normal. It's similar to taunt, but smoother and it's a lot thinner. It's really nice. It's probably the best paper I've ever pulled it with. Now look. Now I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see it in a bit. Okay. So I have my paper all out. So what you're gonna start by doing, I'm gonna zoom out. Hmm. Guess you won't see the whole peat paper. I'll try my best to show it. Hmm. One sec. Move these. Okay, so you're gonna start by folding diagonally in half. Make sure you make your pieces extra accurate. And make them strong too. Ah! Sorry, something fell. I got scared. <sighs> Unfold. Well, they only half in the other direction. Basically, you're making a 64 by 64 diagonal grid, as they call it. So that means from 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 this corner oops, to this corner. Let me turn it up. Then we will have we'll, it will be from the corner to cor the corner diagonal from it. It will divide it into 64 parts. Now you can basically I'll simplify it by saying we fold the corner to the middle, unfold, rotate, um, my heat agrees, and repeat. Let me see if I can get this camera up any higher. Can you see it now? Okay, cool. Should be good enough. So we have a corner unfold. I fold another corner in. Unfold. Now this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this cor this corner to the to the first intersection, and then fold this corner to the same corner to. The two intersection, two two intersections ahead of that intersection. That's a lot of intersection in one sentence, but it's hard. To, it's the best way I can explain it. So this is divided. So this is one eighth. We're gonna divide each of these each of the, from here to here into eight parts. I use this to make a crocodile. I designed that. Will, that will be modifying a bit and making some. And I'll make it a tutorial eventually. By the way, these are special scales I mainly designed myself. It's based off of scale these scale, normal these scales by Michael LaFosse, who um who made scales by doing uh, um by folding a diagonal grid and then making them kind of look like they're overlapping. That's exactly what I'm doing, but I'm doing a few extra steps, which makes it mine. Hopefully. I'll make sure my MacBook doesn't turn off. Unfold. Then, we're nine degrees, and this time we already have the creases, the quarters. So we're gonna make eighths. Hmm. One second, I'm gonna play all around with the camera angle a bit. Okay, hopefully that's better. Okay, so as I was saying, we already have the eighths. So now we're gonna. Oh, sorry, we have the quarters. So now we're gonna make the rest of the eighths. Hope you don't mind me doing this from a different angle. 
It's not very easy to get over to that side of the desk. Then you unfold and make six beads. Okay, so we have it all the way up to all the way here. We're going to rotate 90 degrees like we usually do. We're going to make those same creases. So, as you might be, might be able to tell, I don't know if I told you or not, we have 16 on half of it, right here, and right here. Sorry, I'm getting a bit confused with the camera angle. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to rotate 90 degrees. And we are going to make sixteenths like usual. Okay, now comes to a bit of a tricky part. It's not too tricky. It's actually a simpler way. Never mind. You're going to take the corner. Oh, sorry. Sorry. One sec. Someone called me and it was a mistake call. Anywho. They really surprised me. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this corner to the first intersection. Now, Fold this edge to that same crease, to that same intersection, therefore dividing that tip corner into quarters. Man, that was hard to say, corner into quarters. Then you move it up and go to the next one, next intersect, next two intersections, and fold. Do the same thing, same fold. You gotta make, but the thing is, you got, got to make your creases extra strong, really strong. Okay. Keep on going. Here's the worst part, I know. As you might be able to tell, this is a tessellation. I think I'm gonna call it tessellation, the dragon scales tessellation. And um, I would recommend watching till the end because there's a pretty cool part in the end or in the middle. But still, you're gonna like the end result. And so, um, what happens? Sorry, I'm thinking about something else. Um, what I will warn you use very strong paper, not too thin. I'm using my tape because it's very tough and still thin, thin's good too, but you want it to be tough paper. I would not recommend doing printing paper because there is some times where we're gonna pull out a few flaps and then in that we might need to, I mean, you might rip your paper. So to use paper you really have folded with a lot you, that you really trust. Anywho, I really trust Biotope because I made some cool models with it, including the Fiery Dragon by Kati Chan. But I gotta be getting this right. I'm being very careful with paper because it's like three, sorry, two euros a sheet or something. And it's from Origami Shop. But I will, I do expect myself to use these scales for a dragon in the future. 
me with the dragon head I designed. If this video gets five likes, then I'll make a full dragon tutorial. I mean it. With the scales and details and everything, I mean it. I might take some time to redesign it, but make sure this video gets five likes. And make sure if you want to support me, you don't have to. You can subscribe and if you end a good and like my videos because they take a lot of hard work takes a lot of hard work to design these things like i mean it a lot of work i mean it's not too bad but still it's gonna take more than just doing a video game like some other youtubers but this other uh, this um type of the, but origami designing takes a lot of work, like I said, because you have to maybe you'll get it wrong, maybe you'll get it right. It takes a few times to get it, and then eventually you'll come up with a finished product. And to be honest, with a 64 by 64 the the diagonal grid, um, I think this is gonna take at least an hour. I made the one I showed you in the beginning out of, um, out of, um, out of printer paper, so it's, uh, it's actually a 32 by 32 grid, which makes a lot less scales. Maybe 16 by 16, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's 32 by 32. The point is, it's not too hard of an origami, it's more, it's like a simple origami, but, it but since it's a, but since it's a tessellation, it takes a lot of practice and patience of course patience is the key it takes a lot of time do you think any origamis will get the spread hex tessellation on the first try definitely not me or hiona that you know that, that i haven't figured out yet if you have anything you want to um ask me to design Feel free to tell me on in my email. I'll post. I'll try to remember. I could forget to post it in the description. Okay, so one side is done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate nine degrees and repeat. Make sure my computer doesn't turn off. I'm gonna turn it off the light real quick so it looks cooler. So I'm gonna um excuse me. You're gonna fold the corner. First you have to make sixteenths. It's kind of boring, I know. <clears throat> Tell me if that, and if it's, but you, I think it's easier to see it this way. If you um have the light on, never mind. You you might not see the full color of the paper, but it's not a big deal. And we Unfold. Now you're gonna repeat the steps. So fold the corner to the first intersection, then fold the edge to that same intersection, align with the crease. Now go up, go to the next two intersections, do the same crease. So fold it between a couple layers. Between two layers, making two creases. Extra two extra creases. Make sure they're strong. Then just keep repeating that. You might be wondering why do I never fast forward or cut out parts? I want first of all, I want to make sure it goes well in the time lapse. Second of all, um, I want to. I really care about making sure that you guys see the um see it. And even if I have to do it over and over and over again. So what a video that would normally take, I don't know, maybe three minutes could take like an hour for me because I wanted this, because I want to make sure I can describe it well. Because you'd rather have like an hour long video that that takes a while, but um does, that helps you learn something that, that really is useful versus a three minute video that teaches you nothing, right? It's an easy question simple question sorry 
Sorry, Mitchie. You okay, so know what? You know me. You know my channel. In case you haven't seen my other videos, I want to make sure that you guys enjoy my videos. So, um, if you um, so if you like it, feel free to tell me. Even though I don't allow comments, you can always send me an email. Like I said, I'll try to remember to post my email in the description. I probably won't, actually, because, um, it has some personal information, like my first name and last name. For now, you can just call me the Paper Whisperer. But... If you don't, if you probably can, you probably can tell. I want to keep my identity pretty private. I never, I try not to show my face. I don't um, say my full name or my name at all. And I um, and I try not to um, I try not to d say to show my name in other ways. Like not say it. I don't show my name somewhere accidentally. I'm very secure. I'm trying to keep it secure at least. If you know me, please don't ruin it. Please don't ruin my security and um and just stick with calling me Paper Whisperer. If you're watching my videos and you know who I am, hopefully you enjoy my videos and yeah. And Michael LaFosse, I'm, I know you're not watching, but if you are, then thank you for that. Thanks for, uh, I think your skills are really cool, and this is my version of them. I look up to you very much, as all of are going to say I look up to. That are nice. I hope you're nice. I don't know you that well. I don't know you at all. Okay, last one on this side. Paper wrinkled a bit. Okay, I gotta remember to stand at this angle. Okay, last grease. On this side, this corner. completely on holes like I did last time. So as you see, these each of these squares these squares are one sixty fourth. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the other two sides. The thing is since we already did the sixteenths on these, we just can just make the thirty seconds and the sixty fourths. Remember, as I see in all my videos, take your time. It's quality, not quantity. So if you see, if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video, or you can rewind, or slow down the speed. If I'm going too slow, well then, deal with it, because I want to make sure, you can always speed up the video, but I don't think my voice would sound very good with that. But, but we're going to take patience, as I like saying. I know I say it a lot, and I say annoying, but it does. You gotta, so if you don't get it the first time, you might get it the next time. If you don't get it the next time, get you might get it the time after that. You, but if you practice and are patient with trying it, and you just take your time to learn it, then you will get it no matter what. It's all about trying and persistence. Because, to be honest... I used to, I tried I made some other scales that look not nearly as good. This was with a normal grid. I didn't basically you can make these scales with any grid as long as it's a square grid. But the thing is, it's um, and it's pretty simple. But um, it's not. But but it, and you can fit a lot more scale. But the thing is, you can fit a lot more scales with this than the other one. It's pretty cool.
I'm gonna go a bit quicker now. Now that you should have seen what I'm doing, I've done two edges this way. Something really smells in my room. Maybe it's the yogurt. The yogurt that. Yes, the yogurt. Yes, I smell it. No, I'm not farting. That's weird. Um, it's the yogurt that I ate today, and I never put it back in the trash can, can downstairs. Farting's gross. Really gross. I made a mistake, but it's not a big deal. I've made mistakes, right? It's not the thing about, or not me. Ever make mistakes. <laughs> what is that whistle? Oh, right. Reminder to, um, that I will, I didn't tell you, but if you want to learn how to do the fingerless whistle, or at least my version of it, feel free to... Um, check out, check out my my other channel when I make it. It's I don't know what I'm gonna call it. But it's gonna be a multiple hobby channel. It's gonna be some swimming tips, some crochet, some whistling, some hand flute, everything that I know what to do. That is a hobby you'll learn. For you know, you'll, we'll do some wampum belts. We'll do some. Let's see. We'll do some cross stitch. A lot of things. And I might add some origami in there too. Why not? But it's gonna be called. I think I'm gonna call it Mr. Little Mr. Hobbies or something. I don't know what I'm gonna call it actually. So for you to check that out, I'll, I'll add it to I'll, when I make it. I'll, when I make the channel, I'll add it to the description of this video. Almost done, so I'm happy. I'm afraid we're not done yet, though. grid squares when you're doing this. I'm going to to crease at this angle, but I'll, I'll try my best. Oops, I forgot to make all the creases. this side. We're going to do the other side of the edge part to make sure my mom knows I'm recording and doesn't call me by my name. That was clearly in the video and this is the bio so One sec. Let me unfold this and put the recording button on my door. There we go. Okay, now it's official. Now, we're going to do the final corner. And then, thankfully, we'll be done the grid after that. Yay! We'll be done with that part of the grid. Well, we're done the grid making. Then we're going to do um, the, the, not really collapse, there's no collapse in this, but we're going to do some creases. Some fun creases. Where we're going to make an accordion, kind of.
I'm going to make quick here because I'm used to it, and because you already seen it, but I'm going to make quick quicker than when I said it last time. I try to show it the best I can. Almost done with the group. Really close. Thanks for hanging on. I'm about the only YouTuber to hold the whole grid. Like, a grid of a grid this big. Make sure to subscribe, because I, I tried to show it the best I can. I don't care if you subscribe, I just would... I don't really prefer one way or the other. I'm just saying, if you want to support me, feel free to. I'm not going to force you to. I'm not like those other YouTubers. Subscribing doesn't mean the world to me, but, um, um, it really helps me get more, get people to know my videos a bit more so I can make more awesome tutorials. Okay, we're going to completely unfold, and we have our 64 by 64 diagonal grid. Now what we're going to do is we, we are going to fold so that we make, we're gonna make, we're gonna fold this, sorry, let me, this crease, actually no, this crease is gonna become a mountain fold. And we're gonna make a valley folds, so that I fold in front of it, line it up, it's gonna look like that. Now, we're gonna repeat like that. We're gonna repeat so that we're making overlappings. Basically what we're doing is we're making, is we make the mountain fold, fold it down one, then take, skip one, make that mountain, a mountain fold and so on. I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly. Try not to use the table because then you can't see it as well.
Okay, but you gotta make sure your creases are extra strong. Even though you wanna make sure your strong creases are strong so you can so it stays together. Even though it doesn't really matter, you can easily just it's gonna lock together in the next step, but still. It matters if you make it. It really matters to make the creases strong. So hopefully you're making some manifold and some valuable because it'll help re go over along the creases. Re refurbish no not refurbish. Redo the creases. And like a, it helps the creases to get stronger way. One sec. was really starting to smell so I had to get my mom to rant down. Okay, so now I make another mountain fold. You get the point of this, so I'm gonna go a bit quicker. Of course I can't go too quick because I haven't done this much. That seems like a bit slower actually. I don't know why. Every time, every once in a while, go along your pieces and make them strong and just re go on them. Go on them over and over, over again. Go over them again. Yeah. Maybe it's a bit of a different strategy. What's the strategy? I gotta be careful. Okay, so you might notice that the corners look, don't look perfect. It's actually part of the effect. Because the, for the whole point of its overlapping, it's the corners have to be like that. Or at least these, these two corners. The corners are crossed from each other. They yeah, don't from each other, I mean. Okay, I'm really itchy. Almost done.
something and I accidentally swiped and then deleted my whole recording. Wait, what happened? <laughs> okay, so take a deep breath so I can understand what happened. I, I was trying to record. Okay. I swiped like this accidentally. Okay. And it, took some, and it deleted my whole recording. I'm not sure. Things generally don't re get deleted too easily. Let's just look around, okay? Okay, thanks. Not it. Okay. That's the hearing bone deflation. Obviously. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what were you using to record? Quick uh, using, time? Yeah, quick time. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's still recording. Sorry. You're Sorry, guys. Um, I didn't realize it was still recording. Okay, so anyways, I didn't mean that part happened. So we're gonna um, we're gonna keep going. So I had any technical difficulties there. Hopefully you you don't mind. Technical difficulties happen, right? And as you go on, it's going to get easier and easier to do these creases. And it's going to get smaller and smaller of a crease to make once you get to the, once you get to the middle. It's going to look like that so far. to renew the braces. I want everyone to know that oh, it's much easier. flatten it again. Pretty sure I made a mistake, but I want to make sure I did them. Okay, we have it right. I'm going to just flat, try to flatten it. It's like blinds. It's a lot like blinds. Okay. 
Now we're going to make creases on the next side. Like the other direction. Start looking like this. Keep doing that. Hopefully, after this, will fit in the camera angle, camera view. One sec. One sec. There we go. If I did the math correctly, it's going to be a third of its original size. It's either a third or two thirds, I can't remember exactly. Oops. Don't worry, we have a cool, not boring part coming up soon. shouldn't be word on me. Kind of like the beginning of the story. Actually no, the precision was the expedition. Ex ex whatever. If you like my paper, feel free to buy it on Origami Shop. Not sponsored, but um, OrigamiShop.com. It's a moss green biotope. Hopefully, it's in stock for you. Hopefully, I'm not sure it is. going on at once. I'm gonna do the air trick.
Don't worry, I know this is boring. I know. Stay, stay, stay with me, stick with me. Stay with me. As you can see, we're almost done. And look how beautiful it looks, right? I know it's kind of, I know it's kind of falling apart. I'm sorry. If you, it, the next step will lock in place. Uh, like I said, once you get the hang of it, it won't be that bad. I'm struggling with it because this is my second time making it. Because I just designed it. Actually, it's a, it might maybe fit. So, so I made it a good amount. So that should be good. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. This is a somewhat simple origami, but it has some frustrating moments. So if you're new to origami or at least have less than two years of experience, or less than three years of experience, I would not recommend this. If you're like, as I've seen all my videos, if you're like some origami really good guy, and you happen to be, and you're able to make the ancient dragon or something, or maybe even make just the, just the devil dragon by Jungle then you should be good. But, um, um, but still, I'd recommend doing the, um, doing, I'd recommend doing this after you have a good amount of experience under your belt. Origami experience, not like experience with a musical instrument. That makes no sense. Speaking of musical instruments, I will, like I said earlier in the video, I will be teaching the hand flute. I hope you guys enjoy it, but, um, I'm telling you, the hand flute isn't for everyone. Okay. Last five or so. Finishing it up. Okay, one... Okay, we have it. Now we're gonna flat. We're gonna try to bunch it, bungee it up. Flat like a bungee cord. Bunch it up. Group it. Sorry, I'm gonna hear these friends turn off. We have this. Now, you're not going to turn over. You're going to keep it this side up. And now we're going to lock into place. Now, let me zoom in. Whoa. That should be good enough. What you're going to do, you start from this side. Is you're gonna take these layers and pull them apart. So you're gonna have this point pop up. You're gonna squat, you're gonna make the crease go back down the same way it was, and then kind of squish it, making a flap. Let me show you again. So, pull, so. Pull the layers apart. And then flatten. Take your time. And 
we have that done. Now we're gonna go on to the next row. And repeat. Enjoy these folds. As you might have noticed, this locks the scales in place. Basically, what you're going to do, you're going to take the flap you just made, push them together, creating somewhat like a complex rabbit ear, and squash it. Whatever you want to call it, I like to say squash it. It might not be correct, the correct, correct term, but it's what I like to call it. So, I guess it works. Okay, one more. So make your braces strong. As you see, you seem to be sitting in place. That's why I call this the locking step. Let me change the angle of these real quick. And do it ways. So, oops, not again. about macbooks pcs don't or services or whatever you want to call it anything but a macbook would would stay on the fact of the matter is that macbooks are better by far they may have a few flaws but everything does right We have to do a few fixes, that's okay. But when you're pulling it, the layers apart, you gotta be extremely careful not to rip the paper. This is the part I was telling you about. Sometimes you can use the bottom to help you do it more carefully. Stick your finger in the bottom, that helps it be a bit more careful. Pulling it apart is the most risky way to do it. Just gotta make sure you open it well. Use it if you don't open it well, it will seem like it's stuck, and if you put it stuck, you might pull hard, and if you pull hard, it might rip. It's all the chain of events. good enough feel free to then you can dislike the video i don't really care if you dislike the video if you if you, if you re, I, although if you really don't see it well just dislike the video it will be a message that I'll, I'll try to remember it's a message that it didn't that it doesn't look that good and i'll try to make a redo 
but this is pretty hard. So I prefer not to do a redo, but I'll do I will if I have to. Now we're gonna keep going along them. Yeah, this is probably the biggest the longest drawer I've made so far. It's gonna be at least. So the same steps. But the point is, the lesson is, if you rip it, I'm sorry, if you pull too hard, you're gonna rip it. I said the wrong thing. So pull like little tugs at a time. And if you really are sure, which you shouldn't be, because anything can happen, then you can pull all at once like I'm doing. But that's the more risky way to do it. It's quicker, but and it's more better quality pulling, but it's not it's a risk, like I said. That's why I like to put stick my fingers on the bottom a bit. It helps. See, it's getting stuck a bit, so I'm using my fingers to get in the bottom. Sorry if I'm going too fast. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Oh, phew. that's why I love Biotope. It's super thin, but it's also very strong. Careful not to rip it. When you do that, so we have that so far. We're gonna keep going. We're about, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, we have a few, quite a few to go. Sorry, some allergies or something. a lot of patience and practice to do this origami. Sorry, my creasing thumb is a bit sore. Yeah, you guys know it's going to be a long video. Sorry about that. skills. Thankfully. Okay. So we're gonna do the next row. Look how many I have so far. Let me see if we can get it see it better. Let me zoom in a bit more. There we go. That's perfect. 
I love this camera mount. We're almost halfway done. Not really almost, but we're about, we're a bit more than a quarter of the way done. These, these scales. And yes, you can do the step. There's an, unfortunately, we're not done after this. We're just gonna have one step after this one. And then we'll be done with those scales. Those scales. Ugh. I think I made it, might have had, might have should, I probably should have done a 32 or 32 grid, but I guess it, it's cooler looking. And it's better for a time lapse. Hope you don't mind me sharing my thoughts while I'm doing the video. I'm sorry, we have a hang of this. Of that row. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera a bit so it's easier to see. Oops. That's better. Just a little bit more. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. So we're gonna keep on going. Like my tie-dye shirt, hopefully. Go. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the next row. Now I'm going a bit faster, I'm sorry.
There we go. I'm in trouble with that last one. Okay. A couple more rows, and we'll be halfway done. I'm really enjoying this, are you? Time. I was afraid I'd have like an I, I'd be like out of time and still soon but it's not even close. It's 240. I don't know what I was thinking. This is the most time consuming part, if you're wondering. Besides the grid. Grid's the most time consuming part. This is the most time consuming non grid part, not non pre freezing part. Anywho, what we're gonna do, uh, make sure it's flattened, so we're gonna keep going. Yeah, I know, it's boring. Like I said, this is a very soothing, enjoyable step when the paper doesn't rip. It's probably one of the coolest origamis I've designed so far. It's also a tessellation, like I said, so it takes a bit of time.
Let's put it halfway. My computer's gonna turn off. Okay, anyways, anywho. Any words? This is a good time to straighten out any wrinkles in the paper. One more and we'll be halfway done. If you know me, you know I'm icky. Or if you, if you know my videos, you know. <sighs> I'm trying to sound good, but it's hard.
This may not take as long as root and seals, but they still look pretty cool. There's 3.5. Those skills are pretty cool, but these are a lot simpler. And they look just as good. So if you're, you like region scales and you want to try to make them, but you think it's too hard, feel free to watch. Make sure you watch this video because that's gonna help. I don't know even I, myself, me, my, me, I, I don't even know to make region scales myself, but uh, that's how hard they are. But I can. I made up these scales which are similar to it, but it's much easier. I think you're gonna enjoy this video. And I can't wait for you to see the end product. Okay, so we're halfway done. We're gonna flatten. And now we're gonna rotate 180 degrees and do it from the other direction. So similar thing. Okay, one sec, let me take a look at this. Oops. And my videos officially hit six, officially hit about over six gigabytes. I said that for no reason whatsoever, I just think it's fun. <sighs> okay, one sec. Did something wrong? Okay. Be nice paper, be nice paper. Okay, almost got it. Paper is not being very good to me. Looking at the other direction. That helped. Kinda. I'm sorry from the other end. Hey, how are you doing?
come back to that end later. and a half gigabytes. Hopefully this doesn't take up all my storage. That'd be bad. Right? Good thing we're really close to being done. We're about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way done. Maybe a mean closer to two-thirds, but still. Like I said, we're almost done. Well, I know we're more than halfway, I'll give you that. Figured out what I was doing wrong. Okay, this is quite to the other end. Oops. Oops, the ears turning off again. Lost heaven at once. Sorry, guys. Almost done. I'm really having trouble here. Sorry, guys. I'm working on it.
No, it's good enough. Sorry about that. Having a bit of trouble here. Figured it out. Okay, let's do this. Next row. Okay, Neji. Beautiful. Probably the hardest part. So once you get through this part, it should be smooth sailing from there.
Anyways, we're gonna keep going. Hopefully that video isn't too long. Nope. I really like to check on the storage. I mean, I have a hard drive, but still. Yeah, let's be careful. My shoulder's sore. I'm bending down this whole time. Looking all this folding. In the home stretch. Okay, take that back. This is the longest part. I got the hang of it. Okay. We are past an hour and a half in this video. Way past it. I'm sorry about this video being long, so long. I'm sure I'm best to make it short. But when I explain it well, it makes it a long video. So I'm close to the Hydrant Child's box. my fourth time doing with these skills. So I'm pretty new to it, but um 
This is pretty new design. Like the video if you like about biotope paper. It being a square, don't worry, guys. You girls. Now that I'm figuring this out, I'm going a bit quicker. <sighs> I'm tired. You know? Sorry guys, it's Britain to show in the camera view. It's really bad thing. No big deal. I'm a paper bender. Is that even a thing? It's not. I got the hang of this. Like I said, if you want to support me, feel free to um, support me by subscribing and to make more good quality videos. Help me reach, um, can you help, please help me reach 10, sorry, not 10, 20 subscribers. That would be nice. I'll work my way up to having a lot of subscribers. 20 isn't a lot, but to me it is. 
because I have a pretty not well-known channel. So be sure to share this video with your friends so so that um I can um make more so that I can make more videos that you will and more fun to watch time lapses because I know those are pretty popular in in my on my channel. By the way, I figured out that my most popular video is the dragon time lapse, the original dragon. Thanks for watching that video, but I'd like you to kind of move on to other things. Like, find something else to watch. Like, kind of spread it out. I mean, I don't care if you watch it, but, I mean, the more views, the better. But still, it'd be nice if you guys watched my other videos, too. I know the Treasure and House box time lapse is popular, too. But... Besides the have liking how many tutorial of my tutorials haven't gotten a lot of reviews, so feel free to watch them. Feel the best work on this thing to do, not including me. Don't have a uh, don't have a lot of subscribers. It would be nice if we could, if people supported them, like Shiki Kato or um, the plant psychologist. They're all amazing at work. I mean, they're so gifted. But if only people recognize them a bit more. That would be nice, indeed. Almost done this step. I'm sorry, guys. It's taking a while. Wow, an hour and two thirds. That's a lot for this video. Now I'm going over there where I put, where the camera was where now I'm folding over there and the camera was used to be there where I didn't want to fold there. What are the odds? three, four rows to go. All of them are pretty short. Okay, so you make the reverse fold. And then keep pulling them out. I'm not going to talk much. I know I'm, I haven't been talking much, but that's because I've already explained it a lot. Just try to watch if you're still confused. If you're really confused. And if you don't want to keep watching and you've seen a lot, feel free to re rewind. That's fine with me. And feel free to pause. Like I said, feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast. But I hope I'm not going too fast. Because I'm going pretty slow.
very twice as long as the Empress Bird tutorial. Uh, I see what I was doing wrong. There we go. Ha. Okay, so we're almost on this step. For now, I'm going to bring this down a bit. So it's a bit easier to see the color. It doesn't really matter for me, but it's a bit cooler looking, right? Okay, two more rows to go. Thanks for hanging in there. We're almost done, I know. It may seem boring to watch this over and over and over again. But you gotta get through it to do the origami. to battle my worst enemy this row of course I'm not actually battling it I'm a pacifist okay, we're almost done we're in the home stretch and we have the skills almost done if you want you can stop here if you like think this looks cool we're gonna take one step further what we're gonna do we're gonna make some open sinks to make the scales look a bit better. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna hold it like this. Let me change the camera a little bit. Oops. 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 The camera's kind of falling off. Okay, that's good enough. 
what we're gonna do is we are gonna we're gonna take one oops this isn't gonna be perfect so we're gonna fix that a bit it has to be perfect but i like it good enough there we go what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of them make sure it looks good we're gonna fold the tip up as far as it goes like that let me zoom in a bit more so we're gonna fold the tip up as much as we can now unfold we're gonna open hold this layer up and make a triangle giller open sink we're gonna do the same thing for all the other scales go down row by row sometimes you don't really need to do the pre-creasing of this squash or this open sink whatever you want to call it i believe the correct term is open sink this sink or sink Doing that all the way down. Fix this one real quick. But we're at it. Work, just kind of tuck it behind. Now we're gonna go down a row. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Take your time. Have to be perfect. Just good to, good enough to your liking. Now this part's to taste. You don't want to do too much, but you don't want to do too little. So this part, like I said, you can do it how far as far as you want, as long as it doesn't work the paper, of course. But like I said, this is to taste. Just shaping the scales. Perfect. Okay. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, anywho. Push it, just kind of poke, poke it in. That, that sink. Doesn't have to look like a good sink, we're just going to tuck it inside. This step is probably going to be the second shortest step. This is not that bad. But it takes, still takes some time to go all the way down. Like usual. Okay, let's do this. Itchy. <sighs> Where was I? Oh, right here.
profoundly I need to still do the pre-greasing. Okay, next row. Sure. Me here, pre-greasing pre-greasing is extra strong. Hmm. One sec, I'm going for the quarter, quarter, quarter back. But you want to make sure you keep your finger or somewhere, something on where you're working. Because it's hard to remember where you are. Sometimes. Like I said, it doesn't work just cramming it in there. It doesn't always work for me, honestly. I'm still working on designing this. Get yeah, taking longer than reading scales. It's probably much harder. <laughs> Sorry, I like practicing my whistling. Feels good. Relieve stress. As he's starting to look a lot better, more scale like than like the diamonds like.
this is a bit of a tricky step, but it, and it takes some practice. But once you get the hang of it, like I said, you'll get it. This step takes a li little bit long, like the usual steps. One sec. My fish video officially hit two hours and three minutes or so. Well, and on my, I know there's another video before it, but this part of the video hit two hours. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, where were they? Right here. Doing the next row. Going a bit quicker now because I don't want to just take too much storage. See what time it is. Hopefully, oh yeah, I have plenty of time. And it officially hit 10 gigabytes. Way more, I bet. Okay, let's keep going. Half, we're more than halfway done doing this step, and then we'll, we'll completely done the model, or the test I should say.
Sorry, my mom's eating seltzer. Bubble water. Well, I think I've shown you enough, enough, but I'm going to just make it half and half and go to school. So, welcome to the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.